Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. So I just want to start off by saying thank you guys so much for like the sweet messages about my new piercing. I got the other side of my nose pierced if you guys didn't watch that vlog. So now I have two nostrils pierced, which is exactly what I wanted. It looks exactly how I expected it. I love it so much. You guys have been so sweet about it. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like it means the world to me because like I was super nervous about it for some reason. Anyways, while we're here, I would like to talk because I have gotten some messages because in my last vlog, you guys saw me go to a smoke shop where I got Delta 8 and you guys were like, oh my God, your mom's sober. Like, what are you doing? My mom has never been a smoker type of girly so it doesn't trigger her or anything and we actually live in a state where medical is legalized so she's around it a lot just like naturally and it's not a trigger for her i would never do anything that would trigger her or put her in harm's way because like her sobriety is super important to me and it's important within herself as well like that is like her main priority in life and i would never do anything to like sabotage that or put her in like a weird position and then so it made you guys ask like, is your mom the one buying you buzz balls? No, I do all that myself. I've never drank in front of my mom. I never ever would. I'm not that type of girly pop. So I just had to like clarify those things because I don't know, they're making me feel kind of weird and icky. Anyways, I'm actually about to go out um, to do a few things and filming. I could see myself and I forgot to put on lipstick. So thanks for reminding me you guys. So first stop is my mom had to go inside of her bank to ask them a question about something and I was like you know what I'm just gonna stay in the car so I actually stayed in the car and I edited the beginning of this video so yay me okay so next stop we're currently at the Walmart I have to get a few things so let's do that so we just got back to my apartment to put away my groceries and I was going pee and my mom goes I need some of this green eyeliner and I was like which one Eric Wilson she said Eric Wilson. It says Eric Wilson on there. And I'm like, what is she talking about? I don't know who that is. And I was like, are you sure it isn't Nyx? And she was like, no. So I came out here. It's all over her eyes now. <laughs> it looks good though, don't it? Yes, it looks great. It says Epic Wear. She thought it said Eric Wilson. I need glasses. <laughs> it's Nyx, so. Oh my God, it's bomb. Yeah, I don't wear it that often. I'm older and so I look you know, anything that makes me look good, like, it's like, yeah. You look great, Mom. So, we are at Old Paris Flea Market, and my mom parked where she likes to park, about a mile away. So, my mom likes to get these sheets from here. <laughs> so, she's deciding between these three colors, because she already has, what colors do you have at home? I have white, the light green. That one? The gray. The gray. The dark purple. Harp. Turquoise. And turquoise. So now you're trying to choose two of these. Yeah, or should I just get all three because I'm here? I would just get all three at this point. Yeah. The brand is Unido's collection. Brown. Oh, do you like brown? You want to get brown? But it's open. Yeah, I wouldn't get that if it's open. Is there another? There's, there's like a, a oh, lighter like one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love that one. I'm getting that one. Okay. I realized that there's two uh, names for it. Sally Collection and then Unidos. Whatever that means, but she likes both. Oh my God, look at that one. Now she's looking at tie-dye because tie-dye is her, her jam. She's the tie-dye queen and she saw this and she thought I'd like it. Hello. Sadly, I forgot my sunglasses when we stopped to uh, put my groceries in my apartment. So the sun is just like chilling in my face. So that's fun. I'm waving at my mom uh, because our next errand is she is paying her phone bill. So she is in there doing that right now. And I am editing again. Like this is perfect for me. That's why I love editing for my phone because moments like this, I can just like get caught up and edit. Um, so yeah. Okay, so next stop is we're about to go to this store called Kato or Kato. I don't really know, but I've been here a few times. My mom never has. So let's go into it. Y'all, I have realized recently I am such a sunglass girly. Like, not so much those pink ones, but almost all of these I was literally obsessed with. I don't know what it is, but I didn't buy a single pair. So I feel like that's going to haunt me for literally the rest of the night, probably the rest of the week, 
So I want to know which one should I go back and get? Give me your vote. You guys, look at the sky. It looks better in person, I will say that, but it's like red. It's just so pretty. Can you zoom in on it? Yeah. Oh. I'm zooming in now. Wow. Hello, hello. So I just got home. It has been such a long day and a long night, but it's honestly been super fun, super great day. So we went and saw Christmas lights. So that was actually really fun. That's the first Christmas type of thing that I've done with my mom since I was literally just a little girl. And me and my mom both really enjoy like Christmas lights and things like that. <laughs> a big yawn i still have my lego bag right there because i like the bag so much and it was the first time i've ever actually been into a lego store let alone bought something from the actual physical lego store i was like i don't know what to do with the bag i'm sure 80 percent of you were like throw it away but i don't want to yet so hello so it's pretty late at night i actually just came back inside from walking twinkie i am like half ass trying to get ready to go to bed my hair's up earrings are out but i still have my jacket on i don't know maybe i'm half asleep right now but i do have something like massively on my mind and i kind of just want to like speak about it so i recently have been talking about like how i am feeling more confident and i am like loving myself more and i have more self-love but there was a moment today um actually when i was in kato kato i don't really know what it's called but um, I was walking towards the mirror and I just like noticed my legs are drastically getting bigger. If you guys don't know, because I know not everyone watches every single one of my videos, I do suffer with lymphedema, but I also have lipedema. And I just noticed today that like they are getting bigger. It's very obvious. I almost want to share the clip so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But it's like, I feel embarrassed. I feel ashamed. It makes me feel like unworthy of love. And it's a really bad headspace to be in. But I, I know that like on the self-love journey, I'm going to have moments like this. I'm going to have moments where I do feel kind of shitty about myself because I, I don't like my body. I hate my body more than anything, especially because I have this illness, I have this disease. And it's like, I have to continuously remind myself that I am more than this. I am more than my body. I am so much more than my body. And it just makes me really emotional because like, it's kind of hard to be in that headspace because for majority of my life, I have been my body. I have always been Fat Amber. That's who I was when I was in school. And I have always been, oh, look at her butt shelf. You could set coffee cup on there. It's like, okay, laugh it off. I'm trying so hard to find my style and find who I am as a almost 33 year old single woman. Like I am enjoying the process, but then I have moments like this where I'm like, I have done so much damage to my body that is not repairable. And I know that like, no matter what, I would still have lipedema. Lipedema is also very common for people who are skinny. Um, it's not because of my weight, but I know that it wouldn't be as bad as what it is. If it wasn't for the fact that I've continuously always been morbidly obese literally my whole life so even though this like video which i'm probably gonna show it let's be real has completely like ruined my night right now i'm not gonna let it ruin tomorrow i'm not gonna let it ruin the next day i'm not gonna let it ruin the current journey and path that i am on it's just right now i feel shitty right now i feel ugly because of my disease and i don't like feeling that way 
at all. It's hard to see beauty in something that is so made fun of constantly online. You know, we're supposed to love ourselves, cherish ourselves, and respect ourselves and find ourselves beautiful inside and out. For my whole life, I never loved myself. And it's like, now that I finally am, I would literally do anything in this world to go back in time and tell my younger self, love yourself now, take care of yourself now, let your health be your number one priority, whether that's physical health, mental health, just treat your body good. I know the world isn't treating you good. I know that you are sad and I know that food is your comfort, but find a better outlet. I wanna tell my younger self that more than anything. I would do anything to go back in time right now, but obviously it's not possible. And it's like, the only thing I can do is like fix my present for my future. Seeing my legs has uh, put me in a really weird headspace. It's like every day I see my legs, I know they're big, but it's like something about this specific clip just really got to me because, you know, when you see yourself every single day, sometimes you don't notice, oh, wow, look at my weight loss. I'm looking good. Or, oh, wow, I've gained some weight. Like, you don't notice things like that until you look at, like, an older photo or a video or whatever it may be. And you're just like, oh, wait a minute. Wow, I look so different that's kind of what i'm going through with my legs right now and i'm just afraid i'm just afraid i'm i'm, I'm scared i'm not gonna lie um it's just it makes me feel embarrassed and all day today i was trying to shove down the thought of my legs and just enjoy my time out with my mom but it was definitely something that was heavily on my mind now i just feel like i'm rambling i just feel like i really wanted to get this off of my chest and off of my heart and the journey of self-love and the journey of me trying to be a more confident person you know it's not going to be just this beautiful steady incline it's going to be it's going to be very much like this i know it is i already feel it and a part of just like my new life I, I really want to start being more vulnerable with you guys. I feel like that's very, very important to me. Normally, this is something I wouldn't share. I wouldn't vocalize out loud, but I don't know, like something was telling me to do it and to document this moment that you can feel confident and you can love yourself and be on that journey, but still find things about you that you really, truly dislike. It's not me saying that I don't love myself, but... In this moment, I just have a lot of like regret, a lot of what ifs, and it just makes me want to like improve more. I ultimately just want to be more than my body and more than my legs, and I just feel like it's never going to be the case. I'm going to end this video with the clip that I'm talking about. I already know a lot of people are going to judge me. They're going to ignore everything I said, and instead of watching this clip, understanding why I'm showing it, they're still only going to see me for my body and not the story that I'm actually trying to convey. I would do anything for people to see my heart instead.